All right, guys, so I got this power strip set up. Uh, do not attempt at home. There's going to be water and hydro, so not a good mix. This thing's pretty much full. Um, so I'm going to stop the water, turn that on, and go from there. So give me a second here. Kill the water. And I'm going to turn the washer on heavy and crank it to the max and then it heat, it's going to come on. Oh, um, important to connect the drain hose for the system <laughs> or uh, you're going to have trouble. Put it that way. Right? There we go. So what I did, I tucked the drain hose through my little DIY portable pump and it's just going to shoot and send the water in the back there. And once this guy, once this stuff's ready to rip, then I can uh, go to town. Oh, this has a hard time moving. I'm going to have to move that blanket around. Hold on. A lot of weight in there. It's not doing a very good job whatsoever. Mm -hmm. That blanket's a little too much for it, actually. Now she's going. It's insane. I'll have to put the blanket in separate, it looks like. Let me, uh, <laughs> this is gonna suck. I'll just leave this in the sink for a minute. better so one blanket by itself that's no big deal we'll figure that out then I'm still gonna throw all this stuff in there where it should go so not a big deal I like it I like it we'll end up using all this water today so and then once I do that I'll fix this leak tighten it up Whatever I gotta do, I can just release these two gear clamps and then tighten it and it'll spin in place without uh, too much hassle. Then just tighten these gear clamps again. Cool, so off-grid laundry is going. Um, let's go check out how much power we're actually using. No, it's a nice, beautiful day out, so. Other than I take the chill off a little bit. Let's go take a walk. I haven't got that phone call yet, so I'm not holding my breath. Um, batteries are 13.22. Uh, lots of juice coming in. All this stuff's still running. Cool. I like it. All right, guys, I'll see you in a bit. All righty, guys. So we're going to drain this now. And uh, off she goes. And once that's drained, I'm going to take, uh, obviously it looks like some of the red rags dye is coming off. You can see the color of that water. Um, but um, yeah, we're going to drain this bad boy. And then I'm going to transfer this stuff into the brand new um, spin dryer. That kind of replaces this guy, even though the, this guy still works. This is bigger capacity. Um, and then once this stuff's transferred and in the spin dryer, I'm going to transfer this back in, see if we can wash this. I'll add more water and soap, obviously, and go from there. So, 
not too shabby off-grid laundry day I think we're uh, pretty much close on the draining now sounds like it there's a little bit coming out of there hard to see clean the lens on the camera there we go all right that's pretty much that so we'll go to normal I'll transfer this stuff now and go to town so be back in a second here guys all right so in we go I'll throw some of the like the smaller stuff in because it looks like we've already oh no it's yeah, we'll do two two separate meals, I think. So maybe no, I can maybe get a rag and a towel in there. Maybe no, I can get all of it in. I was just eyeballing it a little bit, and that's all she wrote. So that's all stuffed in. Now I got to take the top plastic container, shove it down. below the spinner and go from there. There we go. Oh, there's water pissing out already. Right down here, guys. So it's already pissing the water out. Um, crazy. So now we close the lid and then this gets turned all the way to there. Whoa had to balance itself for a second. So first time running this. Oh wow, Niagara Falls. Um, yeah, maybe the shower was the best spot for it. It wants to walk away on me though. So I just got my finger there holding it. That thing dries. Holy crap. This thing is no joke compared to my other one the one that's built in wow guys look at all the water that's taken out of there unbelievable that's the panda spin dryer I uh, got that on Amazon portable spin dryer I sent some links to my brother because he was having issues at his uh, Oh, I can let go now, now that the load's balanced. Um, I sent him a link for this guy, as well as a 120-volt dryer. So after you'd be done with this, you'd throw the stuff in a 120-volt dryer to finish. And uh, then I sent him the link for this Panda unit as well, because that's important. Oh, I got to turn the water back on, by the way. So let's do that. There we go. And I'm going to fill the uh, blanket in here now with some soap. And we'll go to town like that. Oops. I'll add some more in after it's in there. And we want to put this on heavy. And let me load that in there while this thing continues to dry and squeeze all the water out of those clothes, guys. It's pretty crazy. All right, down she goes. This works out because any water I spill, I'm gonna mop up anyway on the, on the ground, so. There's lots of soap for it. Good stuff. Dollar Tree soap, guys, gotta love it. For a buck twenty-three, you can't beat it. Stain fighting power, spring fresh, smells really good. That's pretty sweet. This thing's still getting water out. So I guess in the shower was a great idea. Because if I would have had a pan under here, this thing would have went everywhere. And the uh, unit's stainless steel, guys, so you don't have to worry about it rotting out from water. 
is, so that's why I kind of put it right in the shower. So I'm just going to let this thing run. I think this automatically shuts off if I remember reading the manual. So you just have to load it and let her let her do its deal. That's amazing. So that was recommended by Stu, High Tech I-18. And I'm pretty impressed, Stu. Other than the fact that it wasn't just a tad bigger for the heavier blankets, that's not a big deal. Not in my eyes, anyway. So, water is still pissing in. And uh, once the water get, level gets just above it, I'll turn it on. I got it on heavy. And then I'll try a full blanket in there, see if it does the deal. And then when these guys are done, I'm going to place them on the uh, electric heater uh, dryer and we'll go from there. See how that puppy runs. So yeah, very cool.